Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share this new recipe with you. This is my soft bite royal icing recipe. I'm going to share all the ingredients, the recipe itself, and also give you some tips at the end and throughout the video. Also, don't forget to check out my website for the blog on this recipe. Let's get started. In a mixing bowl, I'm going to go ahead and add in four cups of confectioner's sugar. One third cup of water. One quarter teaspoon of almond extract. One teaspoon of clear vanilla. I'm also adding in three tablespoons of meringue powder. All the ingredients will be listed in the description box below and any specific brands that I used will also be linked below. Um, we're also adding in one tablespoon of vegetable shortening. This is what's going to give the soft bite to this royal icing because we're adding fat to it. So traditional royal icing does not contain fat. That's why when it dries, it dries very hard. Um, we're also adding in one tablespoon of corn syrup and the corn syrup what it's going to do is it's going to give it a little bit more elasticity and it also is going to give you more working time by working time i mean that it's going to take a little bit longer for your royal icing to dry um, i do use corn syrup in my traditional royal icing and uh, you have seen that for example when we're trying to do puffy letters or puffy icing or shiny icing this is what gives it that shine that puffiness and also gives you more time to work with the royal icing if you make royal icing without the shortening and without the corn syrup you're still going to have royal icing that is manageable it's just going to dry a lot harder and a lot faster Once all of the ingredients are in the mixing bowl, I'm going to go ahead and mix on medium speed for approximately five to seven minutes. And you're going to see that the mixture is going to become very thick. You can add one to two tablespoons of water if needed. For example, if you feel like it's very thick and your uh, either your hand mixer or your stand mixer are getting a little bit stuck, go ahead and add in between one to two tablespoons of water just to help it get going remember that what we're going to do is we're going to have a base of our icing this is going to be the thickest or um, yeah the thickest icing that we're going to have and basically we're going to work from here so we're going to divide it up and make softer icing and it's easier to start with harder or thicker icing than it is to start with softer icing and add in more confectioner sugar. I hope that made sense and I hope I didn't uh, confuse anyone. Another thing that I do want to mention is that since there is fat in this royal icing, you can definitely use oil-based flavorings to add different flavors to this royal icing, where in traditional royal icing, you cannot, um, because otherwise the oil will break the traditional royal icing. So have fun flavoring your icing. I will leave uh, examples and um you know like examples of flavorings that you can use in the description box below thank you so much for watching don't forget to let me know if you have any questions down below make sure to visit my website for the blog post on this recipe and also don't forget to check out the description box for a discount code for the sugar art those are the colors that i'm using in this video thank you so so much for watching and i'll talk to you next time bye